Hi, I'm Mike Lewis. In today's video, we're gonna create a Patronus effect from Harry Potter movie. So, let's start it. The first thing, uh, let's uh, use some background. Uh, the best is to use a background with a forest. And that's what I have here. And the second thing, we need to find a picture of a deer. So, you can see that I already have it. Press Ctrl and I. And then let's go to filter and filter gallery and then use effect uh, which is called glowing edges. And set the values edge width to 1, edge brightness to 17 and smoothness to 8. And press OK. So you can see that we've got something uh, like this. And then let's desaturate this layer. So let's go to image, adjustments and desaturate and change the blending mode to screen. Uh, let's also put some adjustments layer uh, above our background. Hue saturation and uh, bring the lightness down. And also decrease the saturation. Okay, let's go back to our layer with Deer. And go to image ad adjustments and levels. Let's tweak some values. Let's duplicate our layer. Let's change the blending mode to normal here and decrease the fill to 0%. And let's go to blending options and add inner glow. Let's change the color to bluish. Increase the range and increase size a bit. Okay, let's duplicate our main layer and add a bit of Gaussian blur. So, blur and Gaussian blur. OK, and change the blending mode to Lightning. So let's duplicate this layer. Change the blending mode to Screen and blur this layer again with a bit stronger value. Okay, let's put all layers into a group and then add a curse adjustment above it and create a clipping mask. And let's play here with some values to create a bluish color of our deer. Select group and curves and put it into another group and duplicate this group and merge group. And now let's go to blur gallery and choose the path blur. And let's change the direction of the path to something uh, like this and increase our speed. and press OK. Change the blending mode to screen. And duplicate our new layer and change the blending mode to color dodge. And let's add a bit of light in our scene. So let's create above uh, our hue saturation adjustment layer a new hue saturation layer and uh, bring up the lightness select the colorize button 
select a blue color there. And let's go to blending options and tweak some values here. And then invert the color mask, select the brush and paint on the mask a bit. We can add some particles, so you can see that I, I already have a photo of the particles and I put the mask and I paint some particles here and there. You can see it looks much better with particles. And then I can add also a bit of smoke or dust here and there. Uh, let's put a focus on our deer, so let's blurry a bit our background layer. So duplicate the background layer, go to uh, blur gallery and use the tilt shift effect. And put the focal point around here, play with some values here and there. Something like this. Let's create a new layer and let's go to image, apply image and press OK. And then let's go to filter, camera row filter. And let's play with some values here. We can increase contrast a bit. Increase shadows. Increase blacks. And increase texture, clarity. And a bit of the haze. And then let's go to detail and increase sharpening. We can play with some uh, color values uh, in the color mixer tab. In color grading we can play with some midtones shadows and we add a bit of grain then we duplicate our new layer and go to filter lens correction and let's decrease the fixed rate value and increase the fixed green. So we can create a nice chromatic aberration effect. You can see it's happening here, mostly on the edges. We can also increase the vignette here. And for the final touch-ups, we can add uh, hue saturation and increase the saturation a bit to increase our blue uh, effect. And we can add some field blur, blur gallery, and then field blur.
And that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. Please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. To the next time, bye.